Hello everyone. I'm excited to be with you today to talk about building real-time collaborative apps using the Azure Fluid Relay. My name is Ahmed Bisht. I'm a program manager here at Microsoft in the Office Collaboration Services team. Over the last few months, my team has been working on bringing the Fluid Framework to Azure. The Fluid Framework makes it easy for you to build delightful collaborative experiences for your end users. And when you combine that with the power of Azure, using the Azure Fluid Relay, a lot of details are taken care of for you, allowing you to focus your attention on your app and your end user experience. Let's jump in and see how. Let's say you're trying to build a brainstorming app where your end users are sharing ideas. The end users want to share and organize their thoughts on a sticky notes digital board. If you were to build that app today, you have to take care of several things. Beyond building the app itself, you have to figure out how to bring changes from all your end users, merge them together, handle things like merge conflict, distribute back all these changes to all the users. And you have to do all that in a real-time fashion. You'll need to build a communication channel using something like WebSockets. And that is likely going to be very app-specific and not reusable in your other solutions. You'll also need to think about storing the session data somewhere and managing that storage platform. Now, once you're successful with that very simple basic flow, you'll also have to make sure that the solution can scale as your app traffic grows. You want to scale to tens, maybe even hundreds of users in the same collaborative session. You want to handle traffic from thousands or millions of collaborative sessions per day. So running the solution at scale is very time consuming and costly. This is where Azure Fluid Relay comes into the picture. The Fluid framework delivers a client-side library that you can use in your application. That library abstracts a lot of the details away from you. Once you've modeled your data in Fluid data structures, the Fluid framework takes care of distributing the changes from a user to all the other users in the session. It also takes care of handling merge conflicts for you. And with the Fluid Relay service in Azure, you can rest assured that the service is continuously monitored and is delivering the highest level of reliability and scale to help meet your growing needs. You do not have to worry about building out, operating, or managing any server-side components. In addition to that, the service takes care of storing the session state to make it very easy for your end users to pick up from where they left last time during their collaboration session. Now let me show you how easy it is to provision a Fluid server using the Azure Fluid Relay and how we can take that and integrate it into an existing sample app. I'm logged onto the Azure portal and I have a resource group ready for us to use. Let me create a fluid relay resource in that group. All I have to do is look for fluid, create a resource, give it a name, select a region. We are currently in three regions and we're planning to add more before our general availability. This is calling back to the service and creating a Fluid tenant for me in Azure Fluid Relay. And in a couple of seconds, you will have that tenant ready for our usage. You can also use the ARM template, resource provider REST API, PowerShell, or your favorite Azure control plane tool to provision the resource. As you can see, the resource is already created. That's it. I didn't have to spin up my own fluid server infrastructure or do anything like that. It is now ready for me to integrate the fluid relay resource into my application. Let's see how I can do that. I have VS Code over here. I've already cloned the repo for our sample brainstorming app. And as you can see, it is using the fluid framework. More specifically, it is using the shared map data structure from Fluid. We have a learn, set, a learn Together session that will walk you through the details of 
this app and how it's using the Fluid framework and the data structure in more detail. What I want to focus on here is how easy it is to run this app against the different Fluid server options available for you. You can go a long way running this app and during your prototyping purposes using our uh, Tinylicious uh, service. And this is basically a local box in-memory service for the Fluid framework. Now, once you're ready to go production, we can easily point this app to use the Azure Fluid resource that I created a few seconds ago. Let me show you how easy it is to do that. Going back to the resource that we just created, I can go to my access keys, and it's just a matter of copying the tenant ID, the primary key, and the service endpoints back into the app config over here. You'll notice that I'm using an insecure token provider. This is okay for development purposes, but for production, we recommend using a more secure method. We have samples for you on how to use Azure functions as a way to um, do this uh, more securely. Okay, so earlier, uh, I actually launched the app, and as you can see, it's running against localhost. So if I just visit this app by entering the URL in one of my browser windows over here. You'll see that it created a collaborative session for me. And if I take that URL and copy it to a different window to simulate two users who are collaborating on this brainstorming session, we could start adding notes, moving notes. And you can see this can be done from the different users. And the experience is very fluid. And changes are shown to the other user very quickly in real time. One last thing I wanted to show you is the network trace for the session I just had. You'll see that it is talking to fluidrelay.azure.com to exchange those messages between the different users of the session. I showed you how easy it is to build a collaborative experience with Azure Fluid Relay. And today we're happy to announce that the Azure Fluid Relay service is in public preview. You can visit us at aka.ms slash Azure Fluid Relay to learn more about the service and how to build your first collaborative app with Azure Fluid Relay. Since we announced the private preview of Azure Fluid Relay during our build conference back in May, We've seen developers build a lot of cool prototypes with Fluid Framework. They managed to stand those prototypes very quickly thanks to the Azure Fluid Relay service. And they were able to cover a lot of very exciting scenarios across multiple industries. We cannot wait to see what you will build with the Azure Fluid Relay. And we are looking forward to your feedback as we are driving towards making the service generally available in the near future. Thank you very much.